My mother is a warrior. She carries us all on her shoulders. Me, my brother, my father, my grandfather, a thousand years of history around her neck. It is a war she wages alone. At the bus stop, the mall, the train station, the classroom, her office, the courthouse, the bank, the halls of power, the television she wages, a fight to prove her place. She's proud like that. You can raise a village on that pride, you know. And yes, she has. She raised us. Her very existence a thorn in the neck of blind hate. Of a world bent on fitting her bones into boxes, on keeping her shadowed and silent, but she speaks anyway. And when she speaks, they listen. My sister is a prize fighter, shadow boxing in the moonlight. She raises us with her hands, wrapped and bloody and hard, and nobody asked her to fight this hard. When us men hide in shirts and jeans, shaved jaws and blue eyes, nobody asks us where we're going, why we are here, what we are trying to prove with our insistence to go to school, get degrees, become doctors, engineers, artists, politicians, those who fight back, those who never stand down, nobody asks us that. Yet every day she wakes up to a world that questions her daring, her unflinching, her unapologetic, her Muslim. Every day she fights. Right hook, left jab, how dare she not conform? How dare she make her own decisions, dress the way she does? Left jab, right uppercut, how dare she fight so hard? How dare she be who she is, not hide like we hide? The women in my family are dreamers, revolutionaries, kings and queens. They are because they need to be, because we need them to be, because we need them, because we gave up a long time ago, gave in to the beating ties that shrunk us into corners and tokened us, othered us, bent us into apologizing for the light that hums in our fingertips, so we apologized, and we assimilated, and we played good immigrant and kept our mouths shut, waved our flags and sang the songs they taught us, twisted our tongues to match theirs, but the women in my community never left the front line wore their other around their heads and marched to their offices, their lecture halls, their classrooms, the footsteps of the state and protested, held their heads high when the batons came down, stood tall in the belly of power and shook the walls down, one hand on their hearts, one hand to God, a hijab around their heads, eyes stretched out, holding a horizon only they can see.